Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mohammad Asim. I'm working as a senior DevOps engineer. This is Sambai in Docker Part 2. So I've rebooted my machine. If you haven't watched my video, uh, Sambai in Docker Part 1, please go and watch that video, what we have done. So I'm going to restart my uh, machine, Ubuntu machine, as I've uh, already made changes uh, in the sm.com file in the docker container so what I'm going to do is to access my uh, share so let's see and I will access it I have to give uh, now I will change the username I have to give the username and password which is apps at abc so one thing I need to tell you that if you uh, haven't reboot the uh, windows or your host machine these changes might not apply so you have to just run my bash script and just chop the machine and and you know reboot your host machine uh, but in production you don't actually have to do that but you have to just simply you can uh, you change the password and use it so mm -hmm. as it is caching so I have to reboot my machine let's see I'm able to so uh, as this test is created by another user, it will not allow me to create any folder or file inside the container. You see. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I, you know, give the full permission to uh, my, you know, outside container. I'm able to create a new folder in it. So uh, I'm going to play awesome. I'm going to play awesome. So you see, I'm able to create uh, outside my. You know, test folder as this test is created by another user so let's see whether uh, uh, we see test in our windows you see and be able to see or if I'm able to make any directory uh, on, on uh, windows uh, directory I will able to access it from uh, the outside you know so a lot of things and go to the share and let's see whether no uh, it is not the changes are uh, not really, really applied yet so uh, no actually we have done a mistake I've created this uh, passing outside the Windows container so PWD make sure that you uh, I'll check where you are standing at the moment. So I'm going to create make uh, and So let's see the changes applied on you see instantly uh, the changes are applied. So this is the quick way you can um, use my Docker, some mine Docker image, and uh, as we have already deployed in production, it is very safe. Uh, why you you are going to use this image the reason for that is that your host system will not be polluted you're going to, uh, your server will be safe uh, will be working in a safe environment and you know as far as the docker is concerned all the you know stuff will be remain inside the container so you don't have to download any extra packages as I will read then all the settings you can change the password and do all the stuff so if you need any help you can contact me at my email address or uh, which I've already mentioned in the script as well the maintainer uh, and if you need any help or uh, if you have any suggestion you can email me or you can also contact me my via my you know YouTube or uh, LinkedIn uh, message uh, system Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like and share this video. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Assalamu alaikum.